All right, <clears throat> hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Mail Call. And so tonight we're going to finish up the remaining 800 count boxes that we had started. Let me turn the fan off. That we had started looking at last night. Uh, this is stuff again from the weekend. Um, combination of, of um, flea market and um, purchase from Art, the guy who's I've been buying off of all all summer long. So, also, I have this mail I want to open up. It's an eBay purchase. And so, let's do that first. Let's open up this, this eBay purchase. I have one more coming. Sorry if my fat head keeps... No, my fat head's not getting in the picture. That's good. Um, I have one more coming. And... Um, That didn't work very well. Turn it the other way. There we go. A little better. And it's... I bought this so I can just turn around and send it to Matt Antonelli. So this is a Matt Antonelli baseball cards. Should be two here. Bam and bam. Nice. They're going to look nice. Signature across there somewhere. Maybe down here. So, got two. There we go. We'll got them. And they'll be going out. As soon as I get the other two, I'm going to send all eight. All eight together. Along with the requests. And um, for, you know, material to collaborate with. So, uh, let's get into checking out these last few boxes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here. And then there's, um, I think, maybe two 5,000 counters yet downstairs. So right away, I can see Don Ross. Can't miss the, you know, the, the edge designs. They stick out like a sore thumb. There are stripes on the side here. So you kind of know what to expect. And I'm doing some green ones for some reason. Anyway, so we're not really going to look at that, right? I've seen a bazillion of them. But we'll look at the other stuff. So let me get in a position to where everyone can see what I'm looking at. So these are 91 upper decks. Is that good? Everyone can see. Yeah, that light. My wife is yelling at me for the light. By the way, I just spent... I just spent sixty thousand dollars on saddle uh, uh, solar panels. So let's try this. We'll elevate them a little bit. There you go. That worked. Look at that. I got them off of wherever it was causing the glare. Yeah, I just spent sixty thousand dollars tonight on some solar panels, so I can kind of actually save money if it, that makes sense on my electric bill for those of you who don't know um, New Jersey and there may be some other states um, that we don't have an electric supplier like in the state we buy our electricity hell it could be coming from Canada for all I know right I don't know and um, we're not really finding anyone good here, are we? And so I wanted to just save some money there. Or money for cards, right? Um, it's probably going to cut my electric bill in half. Meaning my my payment for the, um, the loan for the uh, solar panels is going to be less than what I pay monthly for my electric bill. So that's good. If it's 50% less, that's good. So that's what I did tonight. The guy came over. We talked numbers, blah, 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 blah. And you say, well, 60 grand is a lot of money. Yeah, but they, uh, they're going to put a whole new uh, roof on the house too because it's like 25 years old and it's 
So we need a new roof too. They're not going to put, you know, solar panels on a roof that is eventually going to need new new shingles. And it's it, those shingles are at the end of their lifespan, so they got to come down. And that's fine with me. The shingles I'm getting are 50 year shingles instead of like whatever the other ones were, like 20 year shingles. So yeah. So we're not, I mean, we saw a couple of Hall of Famers, but not a whole bunch to, uh, I know. Hey, Philip, how's it going? Kaz, how's it going? Bradley Moore, how's it going, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, let's uh, continue to uh, look at cards, right? So... However, I did see on Facebook Marketplace the others. So last night I was talking with um, blah, 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 blah. Clint. Hold on, hold on. Clint, 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 Clint. Clint. Where's he at? I'm terrible with names, guys. But I don't want to. Clint Carpenter. So Clint has his own channel, YouTube channel. And he does, you know, cards too. And um, he says. He wanted to know more about Facebook Marketplace. So I talked to him about Facebook Marketplace. And while I was looking at you, I'm going to be on camera. And um, so he wanted to know more about it. I talked to him about it. And while we were looking at it, walking him through it, I found the same guy that I bought a bunch of cards off, had a bunch up for sale. So, yeah, more cards. But, like, we're not, not really anything in there. Well, I have to take care of that later. All right. Hey, there's a Pete Rose, and it's all boogered up. Look at that edge. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's, it's all boogered up. Whatever. Kent Herbeck. Not his rookie, though. Ralph Houck. Yankee manager now in the Red Sox manager uniform. What's going on, Ralph? Where's your loyalties, man? Yeah, I know. Oh, there's an Ozzy. Oh, look at this. Got two Eddie Murrays. Ah, and a George Brett. Not bad. <clears throat> Raleigh Fingers, Joe Torrey, got three Torreys, Alan Trammell, I almost got some, a couple of dings, corners, <clears throat> and let's see, tomorrow, tomorrow I've got to go take a look at sheds, so I can get that shed project going, yeah, I want to get that in real quick so I can get moved into the garage and get set up in there. Maybe start buying stuff for the garage for my, my man cave slash studio where I can do my videos and stuff from there. Tony La Russa. He signs through the mail, by the way, guys. Fairly cheap, like 10 bucks or something like that. He may, he may even be free. I don't know. I think I sent him like 10 bucks. He signed a card for me. Goose. So, by the way, who's uh, who's winning the game? I heard Milwaukee had scored like three runs. So, Milwaukee was winning. I don't know.
Bruce Suter. Got two suitors. Dick Williams. He's dead now, but I got a ton of his autographs. Met him in person. Got all of them in person autographs. All right. Well, that is that. The, oops. They arranged some stuff. But, all right. Looks like we got some older Fleers. Let's see what we got. Oh, wait. Here it's at. It says 88 tops. Mm. But some of these cards are in pretty rough shape. Rolly fingers, but he got a slight crease right there. Can't see it on the back, but it's on the front. Got a little press mark there, like someone pushed down on the card with hardwood something. Gary Carter, off center. But Hall of Famer. So let me know, guys, if I'm going too fast. My wife, she's always saying, you go through them too fast. You've got light glare. I mean, she's become my, uh, my critic, I guess, apparently. So here's an Alan Trammell. I mean, it's still a nice card for someone's collection. It may have a little ding on that corner there, but still a nice card. And followed up by Lou Whitaker. There's a really faded, like, Jim Rice. It's hard to even see him. His hat and hair blend right into the trees in the background. Ah, uh, Reggie. But this card's got some stains on it. Jackson and Winfield. Stained. Got it. Crease up here on the corner, a ding there, a ding corner there. Damaso Garcia. Oh, this guy, this one's really creased up. In through the spokes, I guess. Dusty Baker. And now we went back. Well, that wasn't long. Bucky Dent. Mickey Klutz. What a Klutz. I didn't make that up. That's his name. He's a Klutz. Comes from a long line of Klutz, as a matter of fact. Keith Hernandez. And this is one that's really off cut. Hernandez. It's a Johnny Wathen. Definitely not a rookie card, though. <clears throat> Very fuzzy Jack Clark, and he's being called for a strike right there. Fighter Blue.
Joe Carbonell. He has an error card. I just haven't looked it up yet. He's got a card that's an error. I gotta find that. Which card it is, see which one it is. So I can check and see if I have it. Alright, so moving right along. Mickey Rivers. Terry Francona. A very young Terry Francona. Bob Horner, he had four home runs in one game once. This guy never played minor league ball. He's got 78, 79, 80, 81. What, he comes straight out of high school? Not one? Yeah, not one. Like He's got Pittsfield. He's got Magic Valley, El Paso, Salt Lake City, you know. Wytheville, Greenwood, Savannah, Richmond. No, he went straight to the major leagues right out of the womb, I guess. I don't know. guess he was born to play in the major leagues. Don Baylor. But Baylor doesn't have any minor league stats either, so I don't know what's going on there. Why Some guys have and some guys don't. Dale Barra. See, he went to the minor leagues. Dave Parker. Minor leagues. Hmm. But the photography on these cards are, are it's terrible. It's just, it's horrific. Like really? They're so out of focus. They're uh, poor quality. It's just but we loved them when we were buying them as kids. I, you know, if you look back, and you know how we look at, um, uh, what's that Dunruss product they put out? That's all cartoonish. That, that, I rate that right there with that quality of the photograph. Ken Brett. Hey, NASCAR. Thank you for showing up. Cat DVDs. Hey, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in, guys. This We're just going through. Um, I still have like eight boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight boxes of 800 count cards uh, from the weekend. Some flea markets. Some were bought off this guy named Art. There's Tommy John. And so I'm just sharing with everyone. I normally, I used to just go through it myself and not make any videos of it. And then uh, I decided, you know, I'll do some time lapse stuff or I'll just do time lapse. You see cards pile up, disappear, pile up, box get refilled back up and shuffled off to the side. So some people said they wanted to see, actually see, you know, what I get. So now you're getting to see it when I get to see it. Willie Randolph. Hey, there's a Hall of Famer. Phil Necro stopping in to visit us. Oh, look, Eddie Murray, but he's got a big stain right. Oh, my God. What did he put this down? On the floor of his garage? He used to sop up oil? What the hell? Is that spaghetti sauce? I don't know. There you go. Nice Carlton Fisk. Ding City, so I'll take a bite out of that. All right. Moving right along. Let's see, we'll put those there. Put those there. We're almost done with the first box. Shooty Babbitt. Whoops. Shooty Babbitt. That is not a baseball name. Shooty. About it. it could be worse. It could be Booty Sabbath. They could have switched the first initials around in his name and played a real trick on him, but 
Really? That can't be his real name. Hold on. No. Mac Neil Babbitt. How do you get shooty out of that? I don't know. There's a goose. Soft corners. That's still nice. Ralph Houck, former Yankee manager. There's a Lee Smith. And second year card. Nice. Not the best. I mean, it's got a smudged corner, but... For guys who don't have any of like, these cards in their collection, it's probably a nice, be a nice addition. Bert Blylevin for 20 bucks. He'll sign through the mail, too, just so you know. Al Roboski, the Mad Hungarian. Rusty Stav, Diamond King checklist, and a Diamond King. And we're flipping. So now we're back over here. Mickey Rivers. John Matlack. I met him. He was a pitching coach for the Las Vegas Stars way back in, I don't know, once in a while. Mid to late 80s, maybe early. I don't know. I left Vegas in like 1990, so. I don't know when he would have left. Lou Pinello. Now all of a sudden we're going to... There's a nice Tony La Russa. Look at that long hair. Yeah, it's an 80s hair dude for you. How was his managerial record there? Fifth, fifth, and third. All right, well, you're showing improvement. Third on a strike shortened season based on overall standings, 54 and 52. 27 and 27, 70 and 90. Yeah, a losing record, but... All right, that will finish that box. So let's file these things back in the box. I have to, I keep saying this, but I really have to dedicate some of my budget for cards for on supplies. 5,000 count boxes. I need them desperately. I got to start getting them. Because I got no, I don't want to keep them in these little boxes. All right, now we're just going to swap this box out and we'll use that as our. Pedestal. Ooh, I see some penny sleeves in this one. Can you all see it? I don't want to. Yeah, you can see it. All right. Hey, Reindeer Studios. How's it going? No, no Alvaro Espinosa's yet. And 82 done this. Oh, no. Well, you're probably right there. The Mad Hung Gang, do you have any uh, of his signatures there, uh, Reindeer? I do not. I believe I have an Alvaro Espinosa, though. Not yet, eh? All right, is he still alive? I guess that's the first thing we got to find out. Oh, no, that stays closed. All right, so we have some FLIR Ultras. Which is from 94. 94 FLIR Ultra. I don't even know who's going to be in this set other than the, the usual superstars. 
Come up the face. Chad Cruder. Lou Whitaker. Looks like maybe he's transferring the ball for a double play. There's that ambidextrous pitcher. I gotta find one where he's throwing left handed though. We've been doing right handed. I gotta find where he's throwing left. Salmon. Okay, he's a really good signer. Hey, Big Country, how's it going? Hey, did you make any videos of that other stuff I sent you yet? I haven't seen anything. I saw the initial unboxing video. That was it. All right, so what are these? They are score. Uh, rising star. Is that all they are? Rising stars? Okay. Goose Gazo. Mm -hmm. That's the reflection. All right, it's good there. So we have any good guys on these? Someone must have thought very highly of these cards because they penny sleeved them all at least to try to protect them. Ben McDonald, Kurt Schilling, okay. Well, it says 1990 rookie, so. Ventura. Marquise Grissom. There's a John Allroot. Oh, he's not sleeved. Somebody must have ran out of penny sleeves. There's a Jim Abbott. They must have signed. A Sheffield. Okay. Kevin Moss. Getting a lead off a of second base. Joe Girardi. Omar Vizquel. Look, I even got a Dion rookie. There's Jerry Curls. Hensley Mullins. Some more 94 Fleer Ultras. It's very hard to see the names, but we got a Joe Carter. Fred McGriff. Dion. Schmaltzy. Jose Bautista. Good 
Dante Bichette, Joe Girardi. We got a couple nice cards. Pressing on, we'll check the chat. Let's see. Hey Ernesto, how's it going? Card stories. You have any stories for us? He came in and said, okay. None are considered rookies. Oh, that's good to know because they say we're all say rookie on the back. Schmaltz was a good pitcher. Hey Frank, how's it going? Hey guys, thanks. I want to thank everyone for tuning in. I know uh, Eric's got his thing going on and um so these are another set so let me just hold on and there's more orange so i guess we're going with orange all right so we got a bunch of these orange ones that are score dave otto he passed away in that boating accident oh a long time ago down in florida during spring training some of you guys are probably never even born then. There was a couple other uh, pitchers that uh, died in that same boat accident. So Bernard Gilkey. Who's a Gilkey guy? There's always a Gilkey person around here. Steve Olin. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, wasn't there someone else there? There was like three of them that died in that one boating accident, right? This, these cards are just as bad as that other stack of scorecards. DJ Dozier. Wasn't he a football player too? Penn State or something like that? Team Vikings. Yeah, pro football record. Tim Cruz, yep. Jesse Orozco was on the boat. Okay, but he survived. Okay. I remember it was like really big news that year uh, during spring training. But you know what? Then you think people would learn, right? But I think that's why they started putting, you know, like clauses in guys' contracts about acting up, riding motorcycles, and doing stuff they probably shouldn't be doing. Um, and getting hurt doing stuff like that, like playing with firecrackers or whatnot. Keith Hernandez, Cleveland Indians. That's probably the best card so far, Hernandez. Cecil Fielder. Dave Parker. Sandy Alomar Jr. Joe Carter. Nice. Fred Lynn. Oh, Cam Boynes. He's pitching with his eyes closed. I wonder 
if he hit the batter with that. Looks like he's trying to throw a screwball or something. The way his wrist is turned. I don't know if that's how you... Like a circle change doesn't come out that way. Weird, but his eyes are closed. I wonder if the batters ever knew that. Like, man, he's pitching with his eyes closed. That's like... I don't know. Going hunting with your eyes closed. There's a Dale Murphy. Nice. Wally Bachman pulling up the rear. And some more 94 Fleer. John Jaha. Oh, wait. Graham Lloyd. He might be an Australian. Yep. Geelong, Australia. So, wonder when he started playing in the major leagues. Looks like this is his rookie year. 93. So, when did he start playing? Because Dave N Nielsen is a Canadian. Been playing longer. So, Nielsen was still, he's from Queensland. So, Nielsen still was the first Australian to play major league baseball, I believe. Maybe not the first, but he's the first one I heard of. Kent Herbeck. Chucky Knobloch. All right. And then we go to Upper Decks. So let's do some more of these. Melito Perez. Danny Tartabo. Here's the captain. Before Derek Jeter was the captain, Bernie Williams was. Nice. Jay Buhner. Omar Viscal. Juan Gonzalez. David Holse. And Little Pudge. Ivan Rodriguez. Not the original Pudge. Paul O'Neill. Bringing up the rear. Paul O'Neill. All right. Check the chat. Bruce was driving the boat drunk. <laughs> yeah. That'll do it. Yeah, well, someone will have to be driving, right? Well, maybe they weren't driving at the time of the accident. That's why they had the accident. But anyway, you're right. Alcohol probably was slightly involved. All right, so here's some upper deck from 96. Upper deck. So let's see what we got here. Benito Santiago. I got it. I got it. Chapalau Knobloch. Look at Sparky, all serious and shit. Oh, look on his face. His record was 433 and 480 at this time. Yeah. How about a uh, Buck Showalter? 385 and 432. And then you got Tommy Disorder at 337 and 384. 
God, any of you guys have a winning record? 289 and 336 for Bobby Cox. Or he did Buck. Where's he at? Why does Buck get two cards? How's Buck get? Maybe they get. Well, they definitely gave him different numbers. So, so he's 385 and 432 with the Diamondbacks. But it says Diamondbacks here too. 241 and 288. I'm confused. I'm confused. No comments. All right. I know it's. I know they're coming. Yeah. There you go. God, I dare you to throw a strike now. Of course, that doesn't work. They go by your upright stance when you first step in the box. And craps down like Pete Rose all day long or like that. The ump's going to call. What the ump's going to call? All right. Yeah, going back to uh, the 94 Fleer. Greg Swindell. Jody Reed, Alan Bennis, Ron Gant, Sterling Hitchcock, Chris Bazio, Paul Sorrento, Sean Dunstan, Matt Williams, Rod Beck, a pitcher with a bat in his hands. Really? Kind of makes you laugh. He's not even bunting. He's swinging away. John Franco. Todd Hundley. Well, here's some foil cards. Strange but true. Hmm. The Phantom Steel. On an August 8th, 1992 contest with the uh, Who Hill? The Taggers Hill was standing on first base when an on field duster uh, something interrupted play. When order was restored, as uh, no one noticed that Hill moved up to second base. <laughs> well, if they didn't call timeout, I guess. Right? Oh, God. Strange, but two. Now I got to read these, right? The ran out for the record books. In 1992, Roberts actually recorded an out in the midst of his National League record tying streak of 10 consecutive hits but the game was rained out before the fifth inning letting Roberts resume his record run no well, it's not an official game right strange but true Dennis Eckersley the Terminator Eckersley's 061 ERA in 1990 represents the best mark ever in a season of more than 25 innings pitched at 4-2 and two with 48 saves, the Eck had nearly as many wins as earned runs allowed. Five. Shall I continue? Hey, Thunder. Welcome back. Been busy? Yeah, yeah. We all got lives. Outside of uh, baseball cards, that's for sure. So, let's see. Let's read this Eddie Murray Strange But True. Why not? The missing batting title. 
Murray's 330 batting average was the best in the majors in 1990. However, Willie McGee was traded to the AL late in the, the year, and his 335 average in the NL denied Murray a batting crown. That's kind of bullshit. They should have ended his NL, started a new one, and he get the NL to, uh, you know, NL one, and Murray could have still got his AL one. Still count as career totals, but you know what I mean. That's a nice Wade Boggs. He's reminding himself to keep his shoulder back, keep your back shoulder up. No, I don't know what he's doing. Swipe tag at third there. Strange but true, Larry Walker. Okay. The Rocket in Right Field, it's titled. Okay. In 1995, Walker recorded a rare feat by throwing out a runner at first base on an apparent single. He was... He was three... Oh, he has three other simulator plays in his similar plays in his career, and in 1992, he gunned out more men at the at first base three than third base two. So he had a strong arm. He had a cannon for an arm. All right, strange but true, Derek Bell to catch a thief. On June 19th, not only did Bell walk on ball five when the umpire miscounted, but in his next at bat, the Houston outfielder also reached base and was caught stealing twice in the inning due to an error. Okay, he couldn't get caught if it was an error. Strange but true. John Hudek, the winless All-Star in 1994. Hudek became the fifth player to start the season in the minors and yet make the All-Star team. That's because one player from every team has to be elected, right? Even though he hadn't won a game, his 15 saves and 197 ERA earned a selection. For the Astros or whatever team he was on at that time. All right. That's interesting. I never read those before. Gary Sheffield. Nice card. All right. So let's separate these. From those, so we get them sorted at least before they go back in the box. All right, more than halfway done with that box. All right, Thundercat, catch you later. All right. Hey, walk off. How's it going? All right. So where are we at? Here we go. More uh, upper deck from what's this? Ninety-five upper deck. I said it was ninety-six upper deck. Gary Shetfield tripping over the mound or something, going after a foul ball because he's going down. Eric Karros. He was a good ball player. Ramon Martinez making a play at first. I never saw that Roberts card before. Cliff Lloyd. Very 
Bernie Williams. The old bat flip. See it way at the top. He like threw that bat. David Cohn. Pat Kelly. Pete Harnish. Bernard Gilkey for the Mets. For you Gilkey fans out there. All right, I have more to, uh, upper deck. Oh, look, it's a Kinseiko. Looks like he hit that one because the catcher's glove is still open. Uh, Jim Abbott. Let's put him over there. Tim Salmon. And Donnie Baseball wearing Mantle's number in honor of Mickey Mantle's passing, apparently, which Mantle passed in 95. So these cards are from the 95 season, put out in 96. So that makes perfect sense. Mantle died in 95. Or is it 85? Hold on, I gotta check my math here. Strange but true, Ken Caminetti. The power switch. Caminetti homered from both sides of the plate three times in four games from September 16th through September 19th, 1995. No other major leaguer has ever had three switch homer and three homer games. In a season. Really? Not even Mantle? Not even Murray? The two most prolific switch hitting home run guys in the game? <clears throat> There's an Alan Trammell. Charging the ball, making the throw to first. On a slow grounder. Greg Swindell, looking all serious. Another pitcher with a bat in his hand, Drebeck. All right. That's the end of this box. Six more to go. Best of a generation, Albert Bell. Okay. Fred McGriff. Yeah, Fred McGriff, best of a generation. If you say so. Doc Gooden. I don't know what that is. It's not a circle change. I don't know what that is. them up again. All right, go there. Go there. All right. Let's continue here. Armando Reynosa. Charles Nagy. There's Eddie Murray. Robert Bell. Sandy Alomar Jr. chasing a foul pop up behind the plate. Look at that brick Bichette's talking on. 
the size of that cell phone. Woo! That's why they call them bricks. We had um we had them when I was growing up too. When I was with the police department. We had a big white one just like that in our car. That was our phone in our car. We had radios, but they also had cell phones they would give certain guys. Klesko Schmaltzy. Nice Schmaltz card. We got Fred going after it. Todd Zeal, you're out. Stephen Avery was good for a couple years. Then kind of just, I don't know, I don't know if it was injury or what, just kind of fell off the face of the earth. Raul Mondesi, is he in prison still? Cliff Floyd, getting ready to square one up. Bobby Bo. And that's that box, guys. So we have two boxes down. Six to go. Check comments here in a second. We'll check chat, see what's going on. I don't know if they can go too long. boxes down well it's in the next one so yeah some of these boxes are boxes that I picked up at the flea market other ones are stuff that I got I bought off of this guy art just for those who have just gotten to the channel hey Matt Dennis how's it going oh all right what did I miss here All right, Thunder Cat, glad you could stay. Always wanted to be a sportscaster? Well, what's stopping you? Oh, nice. 72 in Arizona. We're at in Arizona. I have an aunt that lives out there. Um... Oh, it used to be, hold on, don't tell me, because you can't tell me where my hand is, I know that, I'm just, it's just a figure of speech. Um, just across the border, um, Nevada there, there's a little airport, um, not, not Kingman, that's a little town, Williams, I think Williams, Arizona, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of those. We had one that came in a bag too. You guys ever see the bag phones? I had that plugged into your cigarette lighter, you know. Um, Jersey accent. Who? Why do you have to learn a Jersey accent? Hmm. 
never got my degree in What's your book about, Thundercat? And what's your show about, uh, Matt? You just kind of like uh, um, a blog about sports? The 49ers. Now, I can't say anything because I really don't do baseball, uh, football anymore. So, <clears throat> and you guys are just laugh at what my my teams were growing up. It was the Jets. So I like Joe Namath. Uh, then when Riggins Riggins went to Washington, I kind of followed him down to Washington. And after he retired, I just kind of like I don't, I don't really have any favorite players anymore. So I just kind of stayed with the Redskins, and we all know how that turns out. White Sox. Okay. Hey, ever, all the teams gotta have fans. You talking about? Yeah, it's his grandson. See how they do next year. <clears throat> his grandson's not that young, though. I mean, relatively speaking, um, it took him a while to get out of the uh, Myers, didn't it? From what I heard, anyway. But it's always good to hit a home run on your, you know, your first at bat and stuff. It makes an impression with the, the fans and other players, coaches. All right, so what do we got in here? Let's check this out. Let's see a George Brett card. Joe Tory. Joe Tory. You got your 3D glasses on, everyone? Hard to see, but that is, like, really um, out of focus, the picture. A Jim Abbott. Put him with the Jim Abbotts. <clears throat> Jack Morris. Here's another one. That's not the camera there. The camera makes it look better than what it is. It's actually way out of focus. Palmero. That one's a little better. Schmaltzy. Is that an ugly Eric Plunk? He doesn't look ugly there. Look at him. I send out the... John Jobs. See if he'll change his opinion on Eric Plunk based on that photo. All A lot of repeat cards. I must have got sheet seven in this little stack. As you can say, go. Did I 
say sheet seven? I meant sheet C, right? That's what uh, they told Eric he had. Sheet C. Dennis Eckersley making a little squinty face. Hard to see. I got to get a better camera. Fred McGriff driving the ball. See these, do you? Well, you just saw them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what are these? French's, like the mustard, mustard cards. Wait, there's no mustard on them. So, there's a Roger Clemens and a Tom Glavin. Nice. Lee Smith and uh, Brian Harvey. Mm. Tony Pena and Tom Bagnosi. Well, they went from good to bad. All right, some Pacific. That's all boogered up. Then we got some Fleers. And a Tops and a Score. And we've got a Hodgepodge. There's a uh, Sammy Sosa. Mookie Wilson. Well, that's just going to go like hodgepodge stack for now. Fred Lynn laying down a drag bunt, looks like. John Rothen, that's his second appearance tonight. Look who it is. Alvara Espinosa has showed his face. That's right. Now, of course, he's not here to enjoy this. But Reindeer Studios has been heckling me about Alvara Espinosa. 52 mantle rookie. Of course, who doesn't like a 52 mantle? Mike Jastrzemski Jr. Yes, that's Yaz's grandson. Uh, his rookie card in 1981 tops for two Oh, you are here, reindeer. There you go. There you go. I was afraid you. I was afraid you weren't here to see that. I'm gonna have to just post that for you right there, right? So you can stare at it now for a while. And now the ice has been broken for uh, Alvara Espinosa cards. All right. But you said how many? Like 50? I don't think I'm going to have 50. I was, I was surprised I even have one. Oh, there you go. George Brett Hills card. Now, um... John Japs talks about Hills all the time. I've never heard of Hills before, so that's my first Hills card. Look at the Eckersley. Nice card. Very nice. Very nice. Nice, nice, nice all the way around. Good card. Abbott. I got someone who asked about Abbott cards. 
So wait, I got to check on this Espinosa now. So Espinosa was from 84 to at least 90. So an 84 is a twin. 84 through 86 was twins. I never really looked for the guy. I only ever known him as a like a Yankee. I do have his autograph, by the way. An old Ricky Henderson. I've got a quite a few old Ricky Hendersons, but yes. I I'm sure I pulled some already out of some of this some of these boxes. Gary Sheffield. There's Tim Cruz. We talked about him earlier. Rest in peace, old Tim. Trammel. Trammel again. So this was an error card here, guys. If you're looking for like error cards, if you have some kind of error card collection going. Now, Mickey Tettleton, there was something that made this an error. I don't remember, but I believe he has this. This Diamond King is an error card in some fashion. I could be wrong, but something telling me all my years of card uh, card collecting certain things just jog your memory there's a Eric Plunk you know what yeah I think I think John Jabs needs a few plunks so we'll put him with the other plunk and he can play Kerplunk with the Plunk cards. Shetfield. Harold Baines. More Schmaltzy Diamond King. we've got in here see we're not really finding a whole lot of treasures are we tonight I mean we got the one Espinosa that we should just be happy with that I mean our quest is over we could probably throw all the rest of the boxes in the trash A nice Larry Walker Gold Cup card. Centering looks really nice on it too. Second year card. Very nice. Guys are getting a lot of glare. We'll have to move Mr. Brett out of the way. So we don't get a whole lot of glare. Because y'all want to keep staring at Eric Plunk there. Why does that say Craig Wilson? That is not Craig Wilson. That's Bernard Gilkey, isn't it? Hmm. It says Craig Wilson. Craig signed with the Cardinals by Tim Scout Tim Thompson. All right. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe my eyes are tricking me. There's a Burt Bly 11. All righty. Yes, uh, admittedly there are there is junk wax. There's no there's no avoiding it actually. I mean there's just so much of it out there that
Well, so far only one Alvaro Espinosa. Another plunk, very I got him. Harold Reynolds. Andre Dawson, the Hawk. And Burt again. And there's Edgar Martinez. Very nicely centered card. I gotta find my um, my my card grader that I got. Not the judge. I got a better one, a new one. And we can grade some of these cards real quick just to get an idea. Especially some of the really uh, good player cards. Not just schleps or, you know, nobody, no names. Tom Candiotti. Fernando Valenzuela. And more junk. Thank you very much for the junk. Ellie Smith. Tom Troublehorn. Oh, I got my share of Gaetti's in that stack. And there's a Will Clark from 87 Tops. There's an uh, 81 Dunross. Rodney Klein Crew. Lifetime batting average, 333 at this point. Older card, for sure. There's an 87 Gooden. Okay. Tony La Rosa. Harold Baines. Moving right along. Singing our happy, happy, happy songs. All right, here's some older cards. From 1980 tops. So we will put these guys up there. We're going to leave Alvaro up there for our Alvaro. Alvaro. I keep pronouncing his name wrong. It's Alvaro. Mickey Lolich. Check the chat. Bird be home blind and jump black lots of that. Fruit loops. No, I'm not a jet. I don't know. I don't do football anymore, but maybe on Bell you're talking about. Thank the friend. I'm sure you got getting paid nicely. <clears throat> Gene Mock Don Baylor There's a William McCovey's 512th Homer sets new career mark For National League left-handed hitters And looks like someone dipped it in I don't know what Chewing tobacco There's a Yaz for you And uh, Lou Brock but it's, you know, it's been through the, the ringer. So. It says, Brock and Yaz entered 3,000 hit circle during the 1979 campaign. Nice.
Dallas Green all boogered up. Sad story about Dallas Green, right? You guys know that the uh, the one plane during 9-11 uh, that went down in Schwanksville, I believe, his granddaughter was on that plane. And then, of course, years later, he passed away from cancer or something like that. Sal Bando. Who's the rookie here? Mickey Hatcher. He had the big glove on his back. This one's all wrinkled up. Really, like Dickie Thon, I guess, was the guy there. Wink and Checky might have been the guy there. Got a little fold under right here on this card. Roy Smalley, All Star. Doug Rowell, another hurdle. I looked at them before. Dusty Baker. Jim Fergosi, manager of the Angels. Here's a Ryan and a J.R. Richard. 1979 strikeout leaders. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Yeah, I've only found about 30 more Canseco, so nothing, nothing, nothing going on there. All right, so um, here you go. This this card right here, because I know some guys might want it. So if you guys, anyone who wants it, um, I'm going to write down a number. Uh, let's see how many people are in the channel. Five people. So the number is going to be... Between 1 and 10, all right, I don't, want to, don't type anything yet, but if you're interested in that Nolan Ryan card, and I'll send it to you for free, Just pop it in the envelope and send it to you, um, let me get this paper, got some paper, we'll make this legit and above board, uh, let's see, all right, all right, So the number is written on this paper, folded in quarters. All right. So when I open this, when I flip this up, it'll be shown over here in blue ink. All right. So if you want that 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 Nolan Ryan card, and he shares it with J.R. Richard, go ahead and type in now a number between one and ten, and the closest one to it without going over, I'll give him the card. It's, uh, well, if you want the Espinosa, I'll send that to you, uh, Ranger. Okay, there's three people who haven't voted. If you still want to get in on it, two people. I mean, I can't count. My math stinks. I don't even know what number I could have put. No, I could have put number eleven on that paper. Now that I think about it. But anyway, all right. So it looks like only three of you entered. All right. Well, Reindeer Studios, you won the Avar Espinosa card. And ready? Here's the here's the the, the real reveal. Chris Bolton nailed it. Seven on the nose. That was too easy. I got to think differently outside the box. Y'all, so he may have known I was picking Mantle's number just because I like Mantle. I don't know. Could be he's a Mantle fan, too. I guess seven a lot. Yes, Mantle did wear seven. He's not on the screen anywhere. All right. So, Chris, I already have your address. Um, Reindeer, if you want that Espinosa, I'll send it to you. <clears throat> All 
Mantle wore six before he wore number seven, though. There you go. How's that for trivia? His first number, uniform number was six. I don't know what caused the change, but. All right, so Chris, that's going to go in with your. Um... Yep. Maybe I'll do more of this. Maybe I can get more people to kind of tune in, just give away stuff from these boxes here. All right, so Chris, where's your envelope? I should be looking for the fattest one on the desk here. All right, so there's your envelope, Chris, so far. Obviously, I can't send it in that now. The, the whole plan of, like, just getting 33 kind of went way out the window. I'll sleeve this up for you. I don't have any top loaders or one touches or anything like that. I have top loaders, but I don't have any one touches. And so, so there you go. Another one for your your file. All right. So congratulations on that. Uh, la, 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 la. That's all right. I got stamps. Maybe I work for the post office and I and I get them for free. Maybe that's one of the benny the bennies of being a postal worker. All right, so here's we finish this up the victory leaders. There's a nice Winfield. Nice Winfield. Again, the corners are a little. Mm. Keith Hernandez and Fred Lynn. <clears throat> Ah, Greg Lozinski with tape. These kids with their tape. The other card I had the other day was ripped completely in half and then taped back together. Don't know why. Frank White. There's more tape. Same kid because it's the same tape just on the edges. Didn't even wrap it around the back. He just put it on. Maybe he taped it into a, a, a book or something. I don't know. And then took it out. I don't know. Who knows what goes on the minds of, I don't know, an eight-year-old kid, ten-year-old kid. All right, so we have some upper decks here. <clears throat> Here's a nice uh, Piazza and Caros. That's a Fleer. Not blocked. Tony Gwynn. And we're back to upper decks. <clears throat> and that bat flew way out of his hand. I guess he, my boy there doesn't believe in pine tar at all. And his batting glove is all torn to crap. Dude, you got to make some money to get batting gloves. Why would you be using a torn up batting glove? Unless it's something from like World Series or something. Who's this guy? Tim Hires. Never heard of him. Palmero and <clears throat> what's his name again? Long Wong Gong Gonzalez. Long Gong. Molitor and Alrud. Hall of Famer there. And Jim Poole. And Brady Anderson pulling up the rear on that one. All right. That's it. We're taking way too long on this box. <clears throat> that one's all out of focus. It's like the third card out of focus so far in this box. <clears throat> yeah, that one's way out of focus. That's four cards with focusing errors, like the, the print double stamped it. <gasps> We've gotten two of our 50. Yeah, right? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> We're up to two Espinosas. Let's 
Stump Merle. And Steve Avery rounded out that box. So let's file these back. All right, so we have two Espinosas. Uh, you know, I didn't see any in any of those other boxes, so I don't think we're going to find 50. I do have two 5,000 count boxes downstairs yet from the weekend. Not part of my winter is coming um, stock piles. All right, we have two of our uh, espinoches. I don't want to put these on the end. All right. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should like pick one card out of each box. I gotta start something, right? And just give it away. All right, here's another box. Well, it looks like a solid run of a couple different things. So let's start on the end here. God, they pack them so tight. They got like it's like an 800 count box, and you got like 850 cards in here. Stadium Club, followed up by some tops. Let's see what year are these tops? Ninety-one. So this is a ninety. So there could be Espinosas in this set here too. But let's hit these Stadium Clubs up. Joe Carter, nice card. Not a Hall of Famer, but maybe one day. I'm sure he's still hated in the Philadelphia area. Can never build a home, probably not even in New Jersey, because a lot of uh, the players from Philly teams live in, in New Jersey. And you ask yourself, why would they do that? I don't know. They like paying high property taxes, I guess. All right, nobody or nothing really crazy there. So far, I think we have a little stack yet. No Espinosas, that's for sure. So, now I noticed this on this one card. So, I didn't point it out, but now I have to point it out. So, here I got three of this card. And I, it probably won't show up on film, but it's wrinkled here. Yeah, I figured it's not going to really show up. i got to get a real good reflection off of it. Right there. See the see the waves? The wrinkles? All three of them are like that. Bam, bam, bam. Bing, bing, bing. So, crazy. Alright, let's point that out. My eyes are not failing me yet. Although, they are going slightly... Banky getting ready to get hit. Or he's blinked to close his eyes and he totally missed a tag. Maybe he's Rivera. I never heard of him. All right. I think this is going to be a fairly cut and dry box here. Because now we got. I mean, just looking at the run, the, the colors, it tells me we got only a couple things going on in here. But we'll look at them. Maybe we'll find some gold cards. That's a high number card, 775. Paul Abbott. There's Greg Swindell. I sent um, 
John Jabs, uh, you know, that for his last FMF that he just had this past Friday, and inside that box of misfit cards I sent him, there's a Bernard Gilkey, um, was a Greg Swindell coin, baseball coin. True, I didn't have it, but he obviously needed it more than I did for his Swindell collection. Prospects. Isn't there a Jeter prospect here? <clears throat> yeah, should be a Jeter prospect card. Tim Cruz. Fred McGriff. There's a Dale Murphy in a Phillies uniform. How about a Sheffield? Ruben Sierra. Oh, we got some Dunruss mixed in there. Okay. Sparky Anderson. There's Will Clark. Nice. All-star card. Hey, Dallas Foster, what's going on? A chipper prospect, okay. Um, I'm, I bet you he's not in there, but hey, whatever it is, what it is. <clears throat> hey, Jay, how's it going? Yes, we do have a state income tax in New Jersey. It's like 7%, something like that. Jay's baby saying. Whether your baby's Jay, you gotta watch him. Can't make him in that. Oh, look. What's he doing in there? Get rid of that guy. Oh, God. Another one. I'm being flooded by those cards. Chris didn't see that, did he? He didn't see me abuse those Canseco cards, did he? There you go. Put them off to the side. They may already be in that envelope, so. I'll have to check it after I'm done here. Dante Bichette. All righty. Ah, taking way too much time. What else is in this box? All right, so here's some Dunruss. There should be an Espinosa in the Dunruss, right? Scott Brosius, before he became a famous Yankee. Florida Marlins. Wow, there's absolutely nothing to talk about in this Dunruss batch here. Except the fact that the stack Oh, no, it just stunk. 
Wait. That's not right. Right? Is that not... Maybe my eyes are saying... Is that Tino Martinez? And someone's calling him Jeff Schaefer? I know my camera sucks at focusing. That looks like Tino. But, I don't know. Tino's left-handed, right? So maybe it's not him. Yeah. Now I'm just seeing things. It's that uh, Espinosa. It's throwing me off now. So, did the Phillies fire their manager today? Anyone know? <laughs> we all paid money for those cards. Yeah, it's I'm absorbing the ink through my my skin. There's Juan Gonzalez. Hey, there's something to talk about. We can talk about Dave Rigetti and his Giants uniform. Chili Davis was a decent ball player. You know, Hall of Fame material. Eh. But still, good ball player. Clasco. I met Dave State, and matter of fact, I have one of these signed by him. He signed one of these for me. He was in the Padres minor league system in Las Vegas. That's the guy to hit that home run and hit the scoreboard and blew some lights out, and it was funny. My kids were going nuts. They were little. And then he gave us a bat. I don't think it was after that game, but he had a broken bat after the game. We got a bat from him. Autographed it for the kids. Roger Clemens. We finally got someone to talk about. Nice. We got one nice card so far. Omar Vescal. He might make the Hall of Fame one day, right? Of course, you guys probably hear that all the time the card comes up. Sorry about that. And not just for me, but from other people too. Am I going too fast? My wife's going to come in here busting that door down saying, you have too much glare from your light and you're going too fast. She's not pretty. Ninety-one ultra for a box of 90 dumbbells. Roger Clemens. <laughs> oh, well, Dallas, what are you going to do? Someone did a video on yeah, one of his Patreon packages, and I, I kind of just stumbled across it, you know, going visiting other people's channels, and um, I don't know who it was, so I can't name names, but... Um, Basically, yeah, they said, whoa. Now I realize he can't send you. It was a, like he upgraded from like $26 or whatever it was to a $40, you know, Patreon. But he, you know, you're not going to get $40 back. It's That's just not possible because it costs money to ship it, number one. So, I mean, when, when you look at your Patreons, it kind of spells out what you get. So it's up to you to decide whether you want to uh, put the money into it for that, you know, what you're going to get in return. Kind of like when you go to flea market, you know, um, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But anyway, I, I'm, I'll say this again, cause I, and I can't probably harp on it enough, is that uh, Facebook Marketplace, guys. That's the place you can find some nice deals. So, Jack Morris. Um, 
I use it all the time. Um, you type in the search. You can change up to a 100-mile radius from wherever you want to go from. So if you, if you live in Philly, you can go from Philly. But if you want to go a little bit outside Philly, it's because you want to go further west into Pennsylvania or whatever state you're in, you can cover up to 100 miles or you can just narrow it down to like two miles. And your search parameters, you can type in what you want to search for. Bulk lots. Uh, I do like huge, you know, or gigantic baseball card collections or, you know, stuff like that. Unopened boxes, sealed cases, factory sets, whatever. And, um, and I go from there and then you just do the meet and greet. You do it in a public place. I've got Rand Art. This other guy now who put stuff up uh, again, um, but Rand and Art um, are two of my guys that contact me regularly about stuff. Um, they seek me out before they even go back to um, Facebook Marketplace because they know like I'll buy. So. Um, I don't even know about uh, Craigslist, to tell you the truth. Um, my son used it a couple times for car buying and whatnot, buying stuff. But <clears> there's <throat> a Chris Sabo. He actually hit the ball. Looks like it's a grounder going to a shortstop. Um, but his, his brother-in-law is a Philadelphia police officer, so he, he usually took him with him. To do all the stuff, especially if it was over in the city somewhere, you know. That's the problem with Craigslist. You know, I mean, you gotta watch it on Facebook Marketplace too. But um, always do your meet and greets in a very public place, like not behind Joe's Bar and Grill. Um, on the you know the other side of the railroad tracks or whatnot. There's a Jim Abbott. And I'll put him with the Abbott cards. Jose Uribe. All right. This box is almost done. Joe Torrey. Dale Strawberry. Rounding third. He's going for it. Yep. They're playing L.A. and New York. The Mets. Not the Yankees, I was seeing. There's a full count on the batter. Can't see how many outs. Looks like a zero. Might be a two. No. Uh, nope. Shape two. It's a zero. At bat was 20. 29, looks like. So, it's in the second inning. Look at that. I, I just found out so much about that game. Except who won. <clears throat> Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer. Nice. So we got a couple Hall of Famers out of this. I'm not sure if Tom Kelly's in the Hall of Fame or not. You think he would be, but I'm not sure about that. Mookie Wilson. All right. Let's check the chat. No more Espinosas, but hey. We still got four boxes left. Checking chat. Let's see. This ball now wouldn't bother me so much. If I knew when I was going back, it's but not knowing what it took me. So I got to go back. All the same brothers. Three spots. Yeah, my whole my site for everyone really. Enough support nowadays, over seven hundred Patreons, yeah. Dude, he drops a lot of money when he when he would go to that honey hole, three hundred bucks would be like nothing to him. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, it might take the Veterans Committee to get Larry Walker in. And I don't know how many years out before the Veterans Committee can even consider you. You know. All right, let's go through these upper decks. Maybe we'll find an Espinosa. I probably won't even recognize it, so. Semi skinny Caminetti there. Fernando in uh, slow mo. Time lapse photography. The wild thing falling off the mound, as usual. Jay Buhner, when he had hair. Ojo, there's a viola. He even says it on his glove in case you couldn't see, <clears throat> couldn't see it. He's telling everybody who he is in case they got it wrong on the, the card, I guess. Steve Olin was a submariner, apparently. Ah, boat wreck, submariner. Hmm. Bad, bad taste, I know. Another Sabo. Mark Grace. Paul O'Neill. Always liked O'Neill. Harold Reynolds there. An old skinny Harold. Alright, we'll start putting them back in. Getting them ready to shuffle off the buffalo. The straw man. Cecil. Ozzy and Jose. Jose. He's already in the envelope, so not worried about that one. Now we're getting into the rookie prospects. Who are we going to find? That's it. That was not productive at all. <gasps> we found him. Son of a gun. All right, Dallas, thanks for stopping in. Yeah, that's two different cards, three total. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. All right. Yeah, yeah. So Espinoza is here. Todd Van Poppel, prospect card. That was a waste of a couple million dollars there. I didn't think I'd recognize him, but I think I have actually have that card autographed for him. Bonds team checklist. Marty Barrett. He lived in Las Vegas. Still lives in Las Vegas. Greg Swindell. For you Swindell fans out there. There's a Joe Carter. Get him off to the side. Alan Trammell. Robbie Alomar. Chris Sabo. Pat Kelly. Rico Bronia. Mike Leibethal, Dave Staten, got that card signed by him too. All right, getting down there. Jeff Juden, Kyle Abbott, and that's the end of the prospects. We're back into my team cards.
That's a nice fist. Not the eye black. Mickey Morandini. Bernard Gilkey. Star rookie card. For you Gilkey fans. Bernie Williams. Star rookie card. Nice. Mo Maurice. It's Maurice, not Mo. Maurice. DJ Dozier. All right, guys. There was really nothing there to even, I don't know, consider giving away. <clears throat> Everyone wants the vintage stuff. There's all the older stuff. All right, so that's that box done. Nothing exciting there. We've got four left. <clears throat> so check the chat. So Matt, I have that. Oh, Matt. Matt, like my um, Matt Antonelli. I watched his video tonight, and he commented on my comment on his video. The box was a dud. If I had one of those like confetti cannons, it would be neat maybe to shoot it out the cannon and watch it just hard scatter all over in the street. And none of these kids out here would even waste the time picking any of them up. Because they were all into other things. The kids in my neighborhood. So I saw this. I saw the wording on this box, and I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just got Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card in this box. I'm like, oh, no. One through 800. And all I need is number All I want is number one. Well, when I opened it up, to my surprise, it's got Dunruss in it and some other stuff. So... False advertisement. Now, I didn't buy it for that. This is a box that came from Art. And he flat out said that he separated um, the boxes that were the factory sets. And this was not one of the boxes that he put on the side of being factory. Now, there are some upper decks in here. But not the complete set. So, let's look at them. 770, 771. They're in kind of numerical order. 773. There's a Joe Girardi. <clears throat> Mitch Williams. Fred Lynn. Gordon, Steve Finley, Steve Sachs, Kevin Brown, a Todd Zeal. Here's a Jim Abbott. Kind of time lapse from one of the Abbott cards. Ozzy Canseco, not Jose. Yeah. He actually looks younger than Jose. I don't know. Must be the younger of the two. He must have been born second. But there's a ton of Dunross in there, so. <clears throat> don't know what's going on there. I know this is not a complete set of. Upper deck, 89s. I 
mean, really, so far we haven't had anyone to even, there's a blind level. Fernando with a sweatband on, looking fresh out of the 80s. Frank Viola, there's a Jose Canseco, 1988 AL MVP. Mr. Canseco, let's put it there. Sabo, Nolan Ryan. Astros checklist, a Kinseco, A's checklist, Ripken, Quinn, Schmidt, Boggs, Brett, Trammell, Viola, Baines, Donnie Baseball, and a ton of checklists. And then we go into seven, seven eighty eight, seven ninety six. Yep. Yeah. So they're pretty much in order. So yeah, put them down there. Yeah, right. Well, we kind of already blew through the uh, upper decks. And, no. Are these 89? They are 89. Okay. Are they in order? Yes, they kind of are. No, well, the order's mixed up. It's mixed up. They're going little spurts. Probably has them in here by teams. I don't know. I mean, they're, they're looking brand new. The cards are really nice. Nice edges. They don't look all beat up. And what are these? I have some stadium clubs. So I don't even know if you guys want to even waste the time looking at these. I don't know if it will be an Alvira Espinosa in 89 or not. I love him. Eric Plunk. Some Harold Baines action there. No Espinosa, so there you go. Alright, so we're not going to waste our time on that one there. But I, I would not see a... Uh, a Griffey being in this lot either. But let's go through these stadium clubs. Palmero. Tony Pena in his, his traditional catching position. There's a Robin Yount, but he's got something on the card. It's not paper loss. It's in the card itself, like, uh, it won't, doesn't scratch off or anything. It, it's like it's something got on the card, and then they clear coated over top of it. Joe Carter. Caminetti saying, look, I got the ball. I tug him. He's out. Looking at blue for some help. Eric Plunk. Making a face. I only go to him because he's a jab. So. <clears throat> John Jabs, uh, people like him. There's a Mo Vaughn, not a Maurice Vaughn.
Charles Nagy. This box was a real dud as well. We had two duds back to back. I, I would have been excited getting an Espinosa out of that. We didn't get that. I'm not going to go through those other dumb ones there. Really. Just a, for a cheap thrill of an Espinosa card find, we'll open up another box. And go for cheap throws that way. All right. What is next? Oh, okay. Dave Durango's a Mo Vaughn guy. Hey, Papa J cards. How's it going? We're just going through the the last of the uh, 800 count card boxes that I picked up this past weekend, either at the flea market or from um, a guy art that I buy off of. So, oh, it looks like a lot of junk in here, too. Sorry, Elvira. I keep saying your name wrong. But Mr. Espinosa, how's that? Yeah. What do we have here? Oh, we can start off with a John Smoltz right on top. Nice. So, looks like uh, we got three of everything. Nope. You know that Mike Morgan screwed it up. We got four Morgans. As soon as I say that, the numbers change. Never mind. Can't even pick the pattern. Pudge Rodriguez. Maybe we'll give Pudge away. How's that? You guys interested in a Pudge Rodriguez? No, we'll set them to the side. We'll see what we come up with in this box. Oh, another smaltz. We so we got like four smaltzes. Maybe we'll put together a little lot of cards, or we'll we just have more than one winner. Maybe we'll have like a pick a pick a number between however many cards we decide, and I'll number the cards, and whatever number you pick, that's the card you get. How's that? How many people are here? We got six people here. Maybe we'll find six cards. Posts. Serial or whatever. Oh, there's another smokes. Five smalls cards. Nice. I got a box. We got bugs in there. So I'll pick out some cards and then we'll decide which ones you guys might be interested in, and then we'll we'll number them up.
award winners. I don't want to throw it in there just because we've got two of them at least. To Tim Salmon. No, he's not a Hall of Famer, but still, some people might PC him. Or someone you know may PC him. Yeah, I mean, their ultra cards are always nice. So glossy. I think we already put a Boggs in there, right? So we'll give it Boggs. Bernie. Oh, Big Mac. They're going that stack. Uh, I made a rhyme, too. And who doesn't like themselves a Big Mac every once in a while? So... Smokes in there. Oops. Rest are done, rest guys. So, you guys, interested in any one of any one of these? So we need to get there's six people in the room. There's five. So how about one of these guys here? I'm gonna say no. Jeffers no. Bell maybe. Tim Salmon, Allred, Clark. No one guys not really interested in a Witten. All right. Any of those cards you guys want to add to this stack to get six cards, and then we'll number them. I'll number them, and you guys just pick a number, and whatever you get, you get. There is a Mo Vaughn in up here in this stack. Uh, there is a Will Clark. Bobby Bo. John Oro. Big Cat. I'm just going to run The rest of these are just crappy dumbass. I don't even want to look at them. To tell you the truth. Unless there was something else in this. The clear ultras that you guys saw. That you want to go back and dig out. Albert Bell. Throw Mo in the mix. Alright, so we got you talking about this Mo. Or another mo. A clear mo. 
but I think we did see a Fleer Mo. I don't think I put him up in here. And this Albert Bell. All right. We'll go with that. By the way, there was no Espinosas in that box, as far as I can tell. And I'm not going to go through all those duck nails. And my eyes will start to bleed from looking at them. All right, so the post mo is in the mix. All right, so there's seven cards here. Six people. I know not everyone's going to vote, so I'm going to mix them up. And then we'll just number them as they come out of the stack. Oh, there's seven people. So now we have seven players, maybe. All right, so <clears throat> I got seven cards set up here. Numbered one through seven. Uh, la, 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 la. Whoever picks whatever number they want first, starting right now, gets that card number. So whoever says number one first, whoever says number seven first, whoever says six first, whatever. Hey, Alex, how's it going? All right, South B. Moore took number six. Reindeer's got four. We have seven cards. Five, three. Okay, six, five, four, three. We have fives taken already, Alex. You're going to have to pick another one. One through seven. Now we're down to six, so one through six, I guess. A seven, don't matter. One card won't be going out, that's all. We have Alex, seven. One through seven. We have three, four, five, and six. One, two, and seven left. Okay, two. All right. All right, there's six people in the room. But even last time, someone wasn't voting for a card. All right, so I'm just mixing them up. They're already mixed. All right, ready? Here they come out of the press. I already shuffled up. You know what? I'll put them down here, and then I'm going to cut them. Cut the deck. Cut your own throat, right? All right, card on top is card number one, which no one picked. All right? No one picked Smoltz. Number two goes to Alex. Alex got the McGuire. Three goes to Chris Bolton. You get the Salmon Awards. Right? Uh, four was picked by Reindeer. Reindeer gets the Little Pudge. Five went to Cat. You get the bogs. And South B. Moore got six, got the Albert Bell. All right, now I gotta write this down. Or I'm gonna forget. Now, you guys want me to send you these cards? You're gonna have to, uh, I'll put my email right here now. That's me. Send me your address and I'll mail you your card. Let me write down who got what. So one was not taken. We have two is Alex. I already forgot who got what. Damn it. Mo didn't go. Six. One didn't go. 
two was Alex. Alex, you got the Albert Bell. Gotcha. I think I have an envelope here for you already. So three was the Boggs. Three went to Chris Bolton, right? No. Backwards. All right, backwards. All right. Seven was Smoltz, right? No one picked seven. No? All right. Alice got Big Max. All right, gotcha. And you've got all the Espinosas. Alright, so we've got Alex, Big Mac, Bolton got the salmon. Cat got the bugs. Hold on. So Alex got the Big Mac. Alright, so that's one. Two, three was Chris. Four, who was number four? Who got the pudge? Pudge was reindeer. Okay. Bugs was cat. And Bell was six, and no one got the mo. All right, I got this all right again. Put those back in the box. Here. And so, all right. Woo! I gotta get more practice at this. All right. So, guys, send me an email with your YouTube name and your address, 
and what card you got. Just make sure I got it right, but I think I got it right now. I got everything marked and sitting on my channel ready to go out, and I'll send them out. But maybe we're not done playing. I mean, what the heck? I got a couple more boxes. I don't know. Maybe I want to play hooky tomorrow. I don't know. I got to go to work. I just spent 60 grand on solar system. I guess I got to go to work. All right. Well, this box has a nice little mix here. I see some looks like Fleer over there. Uh, we're only starting off with score, but you never know. Oh, look. Really? And he got number one in the set? He's card number one? Is that first? I don't know. I'm just going to take a bit. Well, I got, a, I got a new roof put on, too. So they're putting on, tearing off the old shingles, replacing any any plywood that's bad up there, and new shingles. 50-year uh, shingles, so. And it comes with a 10-year warranty on labor and stuff like that. So solar system comes with a 25-year warranty and parts and labor. So so how does he get to be card number one in the set? All right, All right here we go. We've got uh, this box and one more box. I don't know. Let's put the sable to the side. Trammel. So you guys want to focus on Hall of Famers? Or what do you want to focus on? Jose was the man. Yeah, I understand. I, I know he was. I'm just saying, but... To garner like card number slot number one was in 1989. I, I guess Griffey might have been in an update set or something. And now he was all the the rage and the the craze was all about him and. Well, we may not find any Hall of Famers in here. Mickey Brantley is far from a Hall of Famer. It'll get better. Two boxes left. Strawberry. There's a Billy Ripken. No, all right. It's not the F U or F F bat, right? F F bat. I found one of them in one of my boxes this year. Murphy, Hernandez. Baines, Hall of Famer. For now. We'll overpick and then maybe we'll um, just name guys that we really are not interested in. Who's this starting lineup? Mike Greenwell. Alright. What is next? It's a crappy card for now. Luis Tiant. Ooh, that's 
the second hills card tonight. Sorry guys, that's gonna have to go on my PC. It's the first time I'm ever seeing those hills cards. Hungarian Jim Abbott There's a Mo. It's a crappy card, so I don't know, we can always eliminate him. Video. I don't like it. It's got some scuffing on it. It's not really a nice card. Space with stickers. Let's see. PC Indians, Orioles, and Ravens. All right, you can put that Roboski in that in the mix. That's fine. I don't care. All right, guys, I want to hold on to these newer cards for now. Swindell. Someone say they PC Indians? Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer. This box is a bust, too. Wow. So far. Not all that impressed. Got some old ones there that we can put on, I guess. We got eight people in here. All right, that's good. Here's a you want you want does Albert Bell put in here too guys? You Albert Bell guys? There's another Mo. Got a big crease in it. That one's got 
pink smudge or something. Tony Glenn card. Another salmon. I don't know. We're getting down there to not much to really pick from Hall of Famers. We don't, we're not getting a lot. Here's some stadium clubs. Jose Canseco. I'll put on the Canseco card for now. I don't know if I have one him in the room. I'm going to have to check before we put him in the mix. George Brett. Edgar Martinez. Guys, want to interested in a Sheffield in the in the thing? We'll put him in there for now. We can eliminate him later. I'm going to hold on to these. These are updates, and I don't have any of the updates. I can tell they got the nice glossy finish, and they appear to be maybe a complete set. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to hold on to them. There's 131, and the checklist makes 132. So I think it might be the complete set. So I'll hold on to them. All right, so... And someone said something about the Roboski. That one. Any of these other ones you guys interested in in here? Get rid of Espinosa. I don't know who else you guys might even. That one's really creased. That's not really worth it. These other ones are boogered up too, but some of them are better than others. Here's a Bill Buckner here. Should I put him in there? Well, then we'll just eliminate cards and, you know, pick only what, like, people want. We'll put a Bill in there for now. Dodgers team, and there's a Louis Tion. So, if you guys want to honestly go with what's in the pile already, okay. All right, so the pile already. And 
we have one more box to go through. One, two, three, four, five, right? I don't know if you can see all them. Yeah, pretty good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you see this back here if I lay them up there? Uh, kind of. Robert Bell. There's a Fisk. Another Mo. Uh, Harold Baines. And a Sabo. So. We can start eliminating them. If you want, just say one that you guys are not interested in. And if someone else is interested in it, say yes, keep it. So, whatever. We can number them too if you want. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, 1 through 16, you type a number in there if you don't want it. Okay, go to the F. Baines is a bum. I understand, but he is a Hall of Famer. All right, so Baines, Baines is out. All right, Baines is out. Unless someone else chirps up, say they might be interested in it. Sabo. All right, Sabo's gone. I just, because he's uh, like a, a meme on some of the other guys' channels, if you want to send it out to you know, Ras and someone else. All right. So we'll try to get it down to, I don't know, like, uh, well, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, or better yet, I'm going to leave those two in. I'm going to make two card lots. How's that? I'll mix them up into two card lots. I'll do my best to remember this time. You want that other Baines out? This one here? Okay. All right. So. All right. So go ahead and start. We'll just eliminate. Oh. You're limited down to eight cards. There you go. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Because now there's 13 cards there. Well, you want me to put them back in, and then that'll that'll give us uh, upwards of 16 because there's eight people here. You know, someone may not vote, but that's just two parts or whatever that don't go. So we're going to put them back in, right? Eight. Yeah. We're going to put one of the beans back in. Six. Seven and eight. Yeah, they all go back in. Sixteen cards, two per. Now I'll just mix them up and we'll pick numbers again, right? Don't worry, no one's gonna get stuck with two banes or banes in a save ball. Make sure they get a good mix. How's that? Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. Well, all right. Cut the deck. And I gotta verify that I just didn't put beans in a safe to go. All right. They are not in the same stacks. Oh, there's nine people here now. All right. So. Yeah, right. Vegas style. <coughs> Someone's not going to vote. So again, now we're going um, one through nine. Whoever wants to vote, vote. If all nine people vote, I'll have to find two more cards to add to it. That's all. So pick your number and you get two cards. I'm just going to draw right from the top.
<laughs> All right. Uh, we're back to eight people now. So go ahead and place your number down now, one through eight. Well, now we're back to nine. But anyway, whoever, just go one through nine. Um, we know the original eight guys are here. So, all right, Ranger took four. Okay, let me write this down. So I won't screw it up this time. Now we're gonna set. You know, all right, I'm gonna set them over here, but cover them up. So I'm not mixing them up. There they are. Stare at my group. All right, so we have two number four. So. South, you have to pick another one because you picked four second, according to my thing, anyway. Um, Ranger got four. Eight. Two is south. Seven is Chris. Chris is going back to trust the old seven. And one, two, three. So only five people are um, wanting a chance at two of these, any two of these cards. <clears throat> I mean, that's fine. You don't have to, you don't have to pick a number between one and one and nine, but there's only enough for eight. I have to add two more, but that's fine. Right now, we only have one, two, three, four, five people voting. So it looks like two, four, five, six, and seven. Two, four, five, six, and seven. And that's exactly what I have. All right. <clears throat> now, right off the top is going to be one, two, just like that. So here we go. All right. So... Number one would have gotten those, but no one picked one. So one Baines has been eliminated. Two is South getting the record breaker Fisk uh, and a Sabo. Okay. All right. Let's set that there. Three nobody picked. That was a Fisk and a Billy Buckner. Four is Reindeer got a Tim Salmon. And a Baines. Ooh. Someone had to get it. All right. Cat got the... Um, Nice Sheffield showing you how to bunt. And a Mike Messina. Alex got the Mad Hungarian. And a Mo Vaughn. Mo V. Chris got a Mo V. Sorry about that. I'm going on my chicken scratch. I hit a, a notch in the box. And a Tony Gwynn. And no one picked eight, which was a bell and a Brett. All right. Same things apply. Send me, uh, I'll put my email back up there for uh, you guys. And send me your YouTube name. And 
address if you haven't already sent it, and I will get these off to you. So that's two. We got one box left to go. So let's see what we can do with that. Yeah, I got too many cards there. So here it is again. There and while we wait, we'll dig into this last. I'll put these away and we'll dig into the last box. And I don't even know what time it is. Starting to get excited, guys. I really want to get moved into my garage. Sounds funny to say, but get into my garage so I can really spread out and go to town with setting things up the way I want. All right, so it looks like this box has some maybe newer stuff, not super new. All right, it's upper decks, and it looks like a hodgepodge of some old stuff. Oh, crap. I see football. Are you kidding me? All right, maybe it's not a lot of football. All right. <clears throat> well, let's see what we got. Yeah, but to be honest with you, these last couple boxes have been sucky. Smolts. There's a young move on. I'll throw them in there. Oh, should we add that? It's got Canseco on it. Do you want that, Chris? I bet you don't have that in your collection. Or should I just throw it in the trash? And technically it's no good. You can't go ahead and send for anything. I'm just kidding. I'll send it to you. you guys really aren't interested in that yout. Nah, I wouldn't be either. Andre Dawson, right? He's a Hall of Famer. A Donnie Baseball. I'll throw him in there. Yount, I guess. No, no, I don't like those diamond kings. All right, so we get some. Those goes in his pile. Let's jump, jump. Oh, that's football. Tops hit to win baseball game. And a Joey Brown, our football card. All right. Johnny Baseball. I'll put him in the mix. Why not? Alan Trammell, which one's the better? That one. Anyone interested in a Sammy Sosa? I oh, will put him there. People seem to like that guy. That's cool. Yeah, you have a lot of them, right? How many do you have total? Oh, 
Well, we can put the Sammy Sosa in there. It's from 1980. Yeah, I'll put that in there. It's a 1980 card. Some people don't have cards from 1980. Not Sam, did I say Sammy Sosa? It's Sam, Sammy Stewart. Not Hills coming me. Alan Trammell. That's junk. That big card's junk. Mm, animal Bad Goose. It's not the best of cards. Here's a Barry Bonds. I'll put him in there. People like Bonds. Tim Raines. But put some older cards in there. But I got a feeling we're going to be struggling with this. There we go. We hit a nice little string of older cards. Put that in there. All right. How about a Templeton? Anybody be interested in this Steve Stone, Steve Carlton? I'll put it in there. But Malak was a good player back in the day. Got lemon. You want lemon in the mix? Always send it to Chet Lemon. And maybe he'll trade you a really good card for it. I don't know if you even you must collect lemons, right? Old Chet Lemon. Nobody in there. That's what I thought. Not the best of boxes either. These last few boxes really stunk. All right, got upper decks. Ooh, the rookie checklist. Let's go right to the rookies, right? Let's see if they just messed up and put them in the wrong box. Seven, two, right? Card number two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thirteen's missing. Seventeen's missing. Twenty-five's missing. So who were those guys? Well, we know one was Griffey Jr. Who else? Thirteen. There's Gary Sheffield right there. 17 was John Smoltz. 25, Randy Johnson. 26. He took all the money cards out of there. All the money cards are gone. These probably were at one point in that box that said complete set of 89. And old Art went through it and then he dispersed them out into different boxes. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So at one point that probably was a complete set, but not anymore. Did I look at these already? I don't remember. I don't think we did. Well, we'll see if we have anyone else. I doubt it, but you never know. Since he took the good cards right off the front, I'm assuming there's not going to be any Ryans or anyone like that.
rookie Joe's in here somewhere. He's not on the rookie list, right? No, unless he's on a um, like a future stars thing or something. I don't know. Up and coming. Sabo, you want him added? Carter, you can add Carter. Will Clark. Right him. Harold Baines. I know you guys said he was a bum. Bo Jackson, right? We're at him. People like Bo. We've got a Burt Bly loving. He's a Hall of Famer. Raphael. I just type yes or no or either. If no one types, then I'll just keep going. Yeah, he's already in there for the for the drawing, but yes, you guys can swap it out later on or whatever you want to do. That's cool. Just. Included in the emails. Trammel, 273, and 357 is Murphy. Well, they must have taken him because we're up at 293, 294, 290, so 290, 91, 92, 93. Yes, for the trammel. Oh, I passed the yount. I'm sorry. I ran right past Robin Yount. I would put yount in there. So I'm looking for 273, 81, 80, 79. 78, 77, 76, 
and then it goes to 300. So they're not quite in order, they're in blocks apparently. And there's 301, 299. Jack Morris, Plunk, you know. Yeah, I put Trammell in there. He's in there. There's Murphy. So there's the Murphy card. 357. So that'll go in the mix. It's not the reverse negative, guys. Sorry. If that's, if that's what you're looking for, it's not him batting lefty. So it looks like there's not going to be a Biggio, but we'll keep looking. Glavin. You guys interested in a filter at all? Cecil. No, it's not the reverse negative. It is not. He's batting right-handed. You think they would have left that in there? I'll see if he's in the, the thing already. If he is, I, I'll add him. If he's not, I won't add him. All right, look at this. Okay. Whitaker, Goof Gossage. Yes, I said, I'm going to check the Canseco file. See if he's in the file. Can Boyd. All right. Oh, you hold on. We need something. Yes, they were. Uh, they were picked over. And I saw that as soon as we went through the rookie, the rookie stack, and all the rookie cards that were worth anything, starting with card number one, was gone. And they were conveniently mixed into another box. But I he wasn't advertising this as a complete set, so I can't can't really complain. Young man. He said the sets that I bought were from eighty six on up through like ninety two.
Hernandez, Keith. Yeah, well, he had 20 million cards at one point, so he's probably got 20 million dollars tied up in cards. Billy Buckner. Gooden, Fred McGriff, sorry that's a bad picture of McGriff, alright so Chris wants the crime dog put in there, alright crime dog's in. I would check the Conseco file and see if I have that Conseco there already. All right, Chris, that, that Canseco is not, that's the only one I've come across so far. So it's not in your envelope. Do you have that already in your PC? And if you do, then I'll add it to this. If you don't, then I'll just add it to your uh, envelope. So let me know. Yeah, the Canseco files. Alright, these get back in there. Regular. Alright, 
check the consecutive files one more time some of these other cards so I may be able to add some consecutives if he's got more than one in here already picked out Put that one in there. So we like added four more consecutive to the five tonight. Alright, so this is it. We have eight people in. Alright, so I'm gonna set it up. Two cards shy. So what do we got? Alright. Got it. So now there'll be four card locks for eight. Eight people again, so we'll see. Yeah, I hear you. Getting the old shuffle now. Vegas shuffle. They are shuffled. Okay. Well, put them under there. Okay, so again, there's eight. Um, eight. And there's, because there's eight people here. There's four cards per lot. Hey Robert, how you doing? What we're doing, Robert, is um, this is the last box. Though. Towards the end, I started just going through boxes and and then I'm giving out cards to people for hanging around this late and and you know joining in. Um, so um, you're number eight. So pick a number between one and eight, everybody. Whoever picks a duplicate number, the first one that comes up on my list as, like, the first one, gets that. So Chris is nailing down number seven right away. Let me write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chris is seven. Reindeer is four. Reindeer looks four. Cat is five. 
South, you're just unlucky. Picking number one. No one's been picking number one. And you're the first one. Alex got number two. So we got one, two, three, four, only five people again. Am I counting that right? Seven, four, five, one, two. Seven, five, four, one, two. We have eight people in here, so someone not voting or picking it picking its four cards are free. Yeah, it costs you anything. All right, Robert, two's been taken. Sorry, Robert. It's either three, six, or eight. Jay, pick a number, three, six, or eight. I can't see who's here, guys, unless you talk in the chat. All right, so Jay took three. And Robert is eight. All right. Okay. We'll do the drawing, then I'll put up my email. You guys email me with your, your YouTube name here, like Robert Anderson, and your address, and I'll mail you the codes. No problem. You don't have to pay for anything. I'll send them. All right. Now I have them right here. It's the paper now. So we're going to go first four off is number one, and then next four, next four, next four. And we see who's got what. So six has nobody. All right. So Cat gets the Keith Moreland Cupcake Card, 7th Annual Collector's Edition. And a Chet Lemon. And a Barry Bonds. And a Donnie Manley. Donald Arthur Manningly. All right. So let me mark this down here. Not Alright, Cat, I got two. There's Cat's envelope. Uh, Alex is next. He's got the Trammel, a Don Mattingly limited edition, card number five, CMC from 1988. Don't know. I don't have that, but you have it now. Uh, a Gary Templeton and a Bo Jackson. Alright, so that goes to Alex. And then I'm just going to combine all these from all you guys got. All right. Next is Jay. Jay got a Omar Marino from 1982 Fleer. Alan Trammell from the 90 Fleer. A Sparky Lau from 82 Tops. 81 Tops. And a Will Clark from the 89 um, upper deck. So that goes to Jay. Reindeer, you've got the Bo Jackson team card. You've got a Sammy Sosa. You've got a Roger Clemens. And you've got the Fred McGriff, 89 upper deck. Cat, you're up. No, Cat. You had five. Hold on, did I screw that up already? Ah, that's good enough already. Five was Cat. One was South. I'm sorry, South. Duh. My bad, my bad, South. So, we'll just switch this up. 
You know, they say that's the second thing that goes. Is your mind. So, we're going to put... I'm sorry. So, South, you got the Mattingly, the Bonds, the Chet Lemon, and the Keith Moreland Cupcake card. Alright, so there you go. Now... Are we getting it straight? I hope so. So now, Cat, you're up. You've got the Gary. So I just had to add a couple of these cards to kind of even everything out. It was, we came up like two short from having four each. So you've got the Templeton. You've got the 1980 Sammy Stewart. You've got a John Smoltz and a Tom Glavin. Nice. So you get Two Hall of Famers there. All right. Now, no one took six. Chris, you're up. You've got the victory leaders with Steve Carlton. You've got a Joe Carter. You've got a Mo Vaughn, or Maurice Vaughn, and the Dale Murphy. Not reverse negative, sorry. But you guys saw it came right out of the box just like that. So nothing you can do. I didn't get it either. So that's for Chris. And then Robert. You've got Ozzy, Madlock, Goose. And a Andre Dawson. Okay. That's the first thing that goes is your mind. The second thing is your hair. All right. So we've got one, two, three, four left there. Four left there. All right. We'll pop them back for another day. They'll show up again. All right. Now I'm going to put my email up there for you guys. I got everything. Here, I'll give you my email again. I know some of you guys already have it, but we had we had two new players. So, and I'll get everything off to you guys this week. So here it is one more time for you guys before I go ahead and sign off. There it is. For those of you who don't have it. Please include, again, your YouTube name that we used here um, and um, your address so I can know where to send it and get them off to you. Some of you guys got more than others. <clears throat> By the way, for those guys, those of you guys who weren't here last night and those that you were, remember that card, right? God, this camera kills me. That's the error card, right? With a no date. So if you ever come across one of them in a box somewhere for like a quarter, 50 cent, even a dollar, you might want to buy it. 636. The other one will have right where their hands are. They'll have a date across there like May, whatever. So... I'll put these back in here. And we'll try to do this more often, guys. Why not? I want to get set up in my garage where I can really just put tables out and just, you know, set up a couple cameras and just go to town. <clears throat> and then you guys will actually be able to see the whole 1.8 million card collection. Because I'll have all the boxes moved to the kitchen or the garage from the living room 
from this bedroom, from the hallway, from the dining room that we don't use except for storing cards now. And we will send these to who gets them. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind me. I'm talking myself. Alex. <laughs> Alex. 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 Alex, I'm still working on your stuff for you. Um, Chris, you're just going to be coming with the rest of this now. I think I got enough stuff together for you to <clears throat> add to your collection now. But this week I got to get stuff mailed out to people. Guys, don't forget to use your uh, resources you have available to you, like that Facebook Marketplace. I cannot preach that enough. I mean, I found so much stuff going through that. No problem, Chris. It is what it is, brother. <clears throat> I've, I've got so much, so many cards, you know, that I, I drag my feet. I procrastinate a lot on a lot of things, too. I admit that. And I finally pulled the trigger on the solar panel deal tonight. I'm buying that shed this weekend. And I'll have to work until I'm 75 now to get it all paid down. But that's it. Yeah, I just want to get you more, Alex, than that. Like, because I only got a couple cards. You know? so I want to get you more. I, I doubt if I'll get as much as. There's Canseco cards because there's just so many Canseco cards out there. <coughs> hey, sports card junkie, how you doing? <coughs> you just missed it. Just missed it. We spent, I don't know, last hour or two just having fun looking at cards. And I actually had some giveaways for the first time on my channel. That was, you know, not like a, a milestone giveaway, like, you know. Um, 500 subscribers and so on. By the way, I'm, I'm looking, you're welcome, Jay. Um, that. Um, I lost my train of thought. Because that's the second thing that goes, right? Pardon me. No, that's the first thing that goes. Whatever, second thing. I forgot what goes first. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Your mind goes. All right, I gotta get these straightened down before I get too confused. So I kind of scroll back and check Yes, no, I mean, I'm just mumbling to myself, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. I did not watch the game. Who won? Last I heard, Milwaukee was had scored three runs. Like, the big error was that a movie or what? Oh, someone made an error in the game, right? <laughs> no, 
I mean, they have a 15, but... Uh, your suspense is killing me now. Oh, yes. You know, Ronnie. Ah, yeah. I, I hate to say this. I hate your name because I, I can't place your name with your channel. You should say um, Sports Card Junkie Ronnie. I know who you are. Yeah, guys. Ronnie is um, one of the vendors up at my flea market. And I uh, buy some stuff off him from time to time. He has his own YouTube channel, and he does sell out of his house. You got a um, uh, eBay store? If not, even if you have a, you have a PayPal account or something, guys, if you want to buy something, like you, they could just um, take it through PayPal. All right, Sal, be more. Good luck. Thanks. See you later. Good night. I'm just organizing who got what into the envelopes now. Okay, so on your channel, you have your, your email account listed there, Ronnie. Sports card junkie. All right. So you need to get out and, and, and advertise yourself a little bit more, too, just like you're doing here. On other people's channels um, so that and I'll I'll try to start listing your stuff on my channel too down in the comment section somewhere um, <clears throat> just so people can know to refer to you from come see you too right, Alice got that and then Chris got the no yeah. yeah I'm just talking to myself guys moment rain cat Chris, Chris got the no and the green and no one goes. Okay, so they go back. That makes good one. And then the last one. Reindeer got the porridge. Reindeer got the porridge. And South got the bed. South got the bed. All right. Hey, I got everything straight. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Cool. Yeah, guys, sub him up. Uh, he's a good guy. Sells stuff at the tea market. I can pick stuff off of him. Pretty cheap. He does good. As a matter of fact, if you watch my, my thing, you'll see uh, I bought that one tote off of him for 20 bucks and the the uh, like the top loader of CC Sabathia for 3 bucks. Yeah. 
that big uh, 857 like patch card. Really cool. So, good guy. <coughs> that tote was nice. I, yeah, I gotta admit that. It was a good tote. A lot of good cards. And it's Chris, is it gonna say Chris back on it? Yep, yes, yes, a lot of prison cards in there. I don't know what they call that. I look on the back, I'm like, what do they call these cards? And it's all the word prison. I said, okay, if they're prison cards. Yes. I'm going to try to be up there again this weekend, Ronnie, but oh my God. I'm putting up a shed too this weekend, so I don't even know what's going to happen. I'm going to get my shed up so I can move into the garage with my cards. So that's priority. Oh my god, it's one o'clock. Holy shit. I gotta get up for work. Alright, guys. <clears throat> I gotta go. Unfortunately, I got three and a half hours to get some sleep. Yeah, sorry, cat. If you live in an area where there's no. Uh... Yeah, All right, yes, thanks, Robert. Thanks for tuning in, um, Reindeer. Thanks, guys. Um, appreciate it. Enjoyed having you guys hanging out. It was fun. My wife probably is not too happy because I spent so much time. But she only popped her head in like three times to me. One was to say, remind me to take down the uh, laundry when I put out the garbage for this garbage day tomorrow and take the laundry down to the laundry room in the morning. So that's my chores. I got chores in the morning before I go to work. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to sub each other up. Grow, help grow everyone's channels. And um, we'll see you in the next video. This is Boom Slang signing off saying, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment. Hit the notification bell. Do the thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next one. This is Boomsline signing out saying peace. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. All right. See what see what tomorrow brings. All right. I'm going to go check my email before I go to bed. Get all that stuff straight down. Good night, guys. Ronnie, good night. Sorry, I know you just got here. I didn't realize what time it was. I went through like eight boxes of 8,800 count cards. It took forever. Anyway, good night.